Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the A-Level Maths Edexcel paper number three, which was sat on the 20th of June, 2023. Yesterday. Like Yesterday, the, that's right. And it's the last one for the year? That's right, this is the last video for the year. And actually, this is actually a quite a special one because some of these guys, some of these students will have been watching us uh, from the time that they were doing their GCSEs because the channel is three years old and um, the first batch of students that we started supporting on this channel. And you know what we should do for these guys? I think we should salute them for all the hard work, tremendous work to get this far and having completed. So guys, well done. You deserve and you have our respect. All right. So, sir, what we're going to do today, we're going to be going over some of the most challenging questions that came up. Um, we're going to be discussing some of the student reactions. And I did do a poll uh, on the channel yesterday just to get a feel of how students found it and you're going to be giving your thoughts on the paper overall mm -hmm. and so if you guys are curious about how it went then keep watching um, and also i've got a special announcement to make at the end of this video as well so let's start let's begin by looking at the poll um, i asked the question how was it how was this paper for you guys uh, 32 percent said that they found both parts statistics and mechanics excellent it was an awesome paper that they enjoyed it 40 percent so quite a large number here they loved the mechanics so they could they they would maybe prefer to have said that they loved that paper but they couldn't and the reason because is the statistics a lot of students struggled with statistics yes. only 12 percent said that the statistics was okay so the very low number and 17 percent just said they struggled overall so let's begin with that what was the challenging part of statistics that well, you saw? First of all, there were six questions in the statistics paper. Mm -hmm. I think there were six in mechanics. And six in mechanics as well. Um, now, from those six uh, questions, the first three to four, I would say, were traditional statistics papers. Um, sorry, questions. Questions, yeah. Uh, based on the past papers. So nothing too surprising. You had your binomial distribution and it had to do a hypothesis test, I believe. Question two. Um, there was normal distribution one, I mm -hmm. think, was question four. Um, where you're given the values, you perform the, um, you work at the probability, you perform a hypothesis test. Yep. Um, question one was a Venn diagram question. Yes, so that's nice. Use independent um, formula for to, to be independent and work out the missing probabilities, conditional. So, so was it was it standard? Like you know, his 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 he had the values work things out. So everyone could do that. Everyone could access it Most, if you've yeah, done your revision. Exactly. Yeah? And it's, it's just the last two two questions I would say. So question five we start off with. Okay, okay. If you look at it's it's, 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 the, it's, the, it's a notation. It's, I don't think we had that many questions in the past in the recent papers, um, uh, news new spec papers where you had that kind of notation where you have to work out probabilities from a distribution table. Mm -hmm. Textbook. I don't think. There's enough examples in the textbook either, based on that the notation um, being used. I may be wrong. The Pearson I, textbook you're talking about. Yeah? Yes, because I've I've done it. I've done stats you know, the, 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 for, for 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 one year only, and I haven't cross come across those enough examples. Enough. So maybe they didn't get, get enough exposure to that. Uh, but obviously, they if, if their students out there, they maybe use other resources online. Maybe they could have seen it. Yeah, but I most mean, students won't. Exactly. Perhaps so do that. they have, you know, the most students would have just focused on the textbook and probably past papers, um, then got all the resources um, um, from, from that. And number six. Now, like, yes. those, one student goes, integration was another What? Integration? <laughs> what parts or something you said? But, and but, like, funny enough, in the past, there was, uh, I remember there was a, a SATS paper where integration didn't come up, but, but I can't remember if it was in the old spec or the new spec paper. Um, but it can't be in the newspaper because we looked through the past papers and there wasn't, you know, integration. Okay. But what about this question? What is the difficulty? In the first, mind you, it was 14 marks, uh, which was roughly around 30% of the yeah. whole paper. Yeah. Okay. I so mean, the first part A, part B is just a normal, normal distribution. Um, and question A is just using histogram to work out probability. So you can just, you know, work out the area and so on. Part B, you're given uh, the mean assigned deviation uh, for, for that sample. And you have to just, uh, for one mark, to just say whether or not histogram supports a normal distribution. Sorry to interrupt uh, you. Um, j just look at the number of marks allocated as well. This is the other <laughs> thing. Like, well, most of the marks of this I mean, question are 13, 14 these hard, marks. Yeah, 14 marks. Yeah, I counted it earlier. 14 marks. Uh, but that's where the, most of the marks are coming from, from this question. Yeah. As well. So lots of students who would have maybe struggled with this will lose these marks, right? And that may have an overall impact on their total grade. Well, what do you question, think about that? I mean, the integration part is, is by parts. Mm -hmm. I mean, if if you're looking at, they just recently done um, um, pure paper um, last week. So most of them would have practiced by parts. But not expecting it will come up again, but they will still gain. I mean, 
have it some sort of knowledge the, there. Would, I'm sure it would have taken a lot of students by surprise. Did it take you guys by surprise? Let us know in the comment section if it did, because they're not prepared for it. They're like, whoa, what is this? Are they, sometimes you sort of even, sink your brain yeah, in a particular way. Even I spoke to one of my top students um, um, yesterday after the exam. Even they were surprised. Our uh, education by box came up. You know what the heck? What, what, what is? But obviously, knowing them, they were they still they still, still were able to answer the question. Yeah. It's just they didn't, wasn't expecting it. Was a, it yeah. was a shock. So when we were trying to you know give some revision advice, we, you mentioned large data sets. How was that for this? The question that came up on large data set wasn't I would say wasn't as 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 uh, scary. It wasn't wasn't as complicated. Okay. What could be something that throws a student off here on this? Um, it's it's the, it's the grouping used here. So. Um, it's to do with rainfall, and there's so many different groups with decimals. Um, but it, it tells how to um, clean up the data. So mm -hmm. if you know the techniques for clean, clean, clean up data, so there's trace amounts there. Um, you can talk about okay. that. So it wasn't that bad as we feared. Okay, in yeah. The, it was those other questions that feared. Now the mechanics paper, right? I loved it. Did you? I loved. It. I mean, it, it was straightforward. It wasn't another two. Uh, Straightforward in the sense that, again, in match to the previous past paper question, if not even easier to the past paper uh, question. Yeah, yeah. Um, like the last question, um, the similar question that came up. Uh, yeah, I think last 2022. I remember yeah, that. but it was actually harder the 2022 one. Yes, in that sense. This one, they, they, they do break up the question for you. Um, um, in, 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 in I don't have a face, can I have a look at it? Okay. Like, yeah, they actually show you what they, <laughs> they want. They, they tell you to take moments. Yes. It's like in the past where they don't say, they, they just say, yeah, what, yeah. show that, show that the tension is this is or this, the reaction is this. Yeah, they tell but yeah, they, they break it up for you in yeah. other bits. So let me know, guys, if you felt the same sentiments. I mean, I know 40% of you said that they like the mechanics paper. If there's any particular questions that you felt maybe were quite difficult. Uh, this one, actually, this came in after the new spec. It's been quite popular. And going forward, this is something that's question so projectile, five. Projectile motion. Projectile motion. So that's something that, you know, we will be working with our students um, I'm, I'm putting a lot of emphasis on that. I think we're moving away from the whole pulley system style questions. Although, although they're still yeah, going to be there. That didn't come up. That didn't come up. Yeah, that, I, the pulley system well, didn't we, come up. We had um, a motion along a, on a flat surface as opposed to the inclined surface, but the same principle that applied but on a flat surface. So in that sense, it was easier. Yeah. Um, so um, I think they the well, question two, I really think. like these papers going forward. Okay, so that's that. So overall, it seems that there were some mixed reactions to the paper. It wasn't you can say great, some did find it challenging while others thought it was manageable. So that's our review for the A-level paper done. Let us know what you guys thought of it in the comments section below. And lastly guys, before we sign off on this video, I would just like to tell you about the Beyond the Classroom, the second channel, uh, which I did a soft launch on. Uh, the Maths Coach platform was never meant to be just about maths. There are plenty of great maths YouTube channels out there, even better than this Maths Coach, okay? Respect to them. It was never meant to be about that. It was meant to be more than that. So Beyond the Classroom gives me an opportunity to bring to you guys the aspects of adult life that are needed, the skills that we believe, the education that should be coming out to you guys. So go on there, follow that channel. Content will be released over the summer period and beyond uh, that helps you with things like soft skills, how to navigate you know, apprenticeships, whether you should even be going to university uh, in, in this current uh, climate and the situation. You know, what's the way forward? Giving you as much advice and from our own experiences, I'm going to be bringing on mentors, professionals, uh, entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, normal people who have made extraordinary lives for themselves to give back to you guys and help you along your journey. So do go and check that out. But with this from us for this year, 2023, we wish you guys the very best once again and goodbye from us. Yeah, goodbye and take care.